Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. This is another episode from the Loot Crate anime series we've got going on here. I've got my buddy Geek next to me here. And uh, we've got another package in today. Another another box, pretty, pretty kind of common size for them. Uh, it doesn't have anything really on the outside that's uh, anything specific other than the nice little hashtag that says Loot Anime there. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and open it up and uh, find out what's inside. All right guys, so here we go. We've got a handful of products here, um, just like we usually do. Uh, we've got some figures and uh, books and clothing and everything and the phone charm, as well as uh, you know the box itself has its own little kind of design. Let's go ahead and do the, uh, the poster first. We'll go ahead and uh, set that aside so we can see this. And of course, since the poster gives us kind of the background of what this one or what any of them is about um, you know I think it's a good place to start uh, all right so here we go we've got a uh, poster of a girl here looks like she is some type of warrior of some type looks like she's got some kind of uh, either sort of a spear slash sword very long blade with the uh, with the thing here um, and uh, let's see right here at the bottom so it does say who this is by is uh, Zypel I think is how you might pronounce it uh, X-I-P-E-L uh, so that is of course the illustrator of this one uh, and that is a kind of that is a pretty nice uh, poster there so anybody that's interested in one like this uh, for up on your wall there you go this is uh, it says survive here on the bottom so of course that's what this box is about in the loot crate anime series that they've got so let's see what we've what we can kind of figure here um, for well since we'll go ahead with this box real quick here uh, just because this is the box that it came in of course we turned it inside out to show what the design is it does say survival kit on it looks like a uh, kind of a, a medical or plastic box type of uh, first aid kit and you've got uh, some bl looks like bloody fingerprints there and and some dirt and and grime kind of all over it a few blood spots on the back so somebody looks like they need this quite a bit uh, so hey if you want you could use this as a basic uh, as a basic first aid kit throw your first aid kit stuff inside here and use it for that if you'd like uh, otherwise you could uh, keep any of your other loot crate stuff or whatever else in there um, you want to pick one then or, or do you want me to do mine first okay well this is one that I am I am fairly familiar with uh, now it has been a little while since I've watched the episodes with this guy in it and uh, this is uh, from Naruto and uh, let's see which which one this is this is the this says shinobi relations too so I'm not sure exactly what that is because the ones that I know I know of Naruto and uh, there's uh, Naruto Shippuden uh, and so those are those are kind of the main series that I've seen with the the Naruto line. Uh, this one here, if I understand right, if I remember it correctly, let me double check and make sure I've got the right guy on here. And uh, here on the bottom, it does say uh, uh, what it is and who it is and everything. It says Naruto uh, DXF, and this is Sasuke. Now, uh, for those of you who haven't watched uh, Naruto, Naruto is about uh, basically ninja. Uh, Naruto himself is uh, he's an orphan, and uh, there's some special components to him. Uh, something about a spirit that's trapped within him. Uh, he's actually like a vessel that holds the spirit at bay, in a sense. And I uh, won't go too deep into that, but uh, he and uh, some of his friends train together to start off as children and grow and get to be better types of ninja. Uh, they have different kinds of skills in type in their different uh, jujitsu and genjutsu and, and all of their other jitsus that they do. Uh, and each one of the characters has kind of something special about them. Now this one here is one of the ones that was on Naruto's team when uh, he first began. Uh, there are three of them together. This guy is Sasuke. Now 
Sasuke later on kind of separates from the team and uh, kind of goes his own way. He has his own kind of agenda of things that he wants to do. But this is a character for him. Uh, he, of course, is very skilled with a sword there, and uh, so he's posing with that. But uh, pretty, pretty cool. Let's uh, go ahead and crack it open here real quick and take a look at what the actual figurine is. All right, so I'm not going to go ahead and open the bag because uh, we may want to kind of keep this in the box to keep it as kind of a collector's item. But you do have a stand here. You have the figure right here. Uh, hopefully you can see that through the plastic. And he is, of course, standing just like he is on the box there with uh, the one arm out in front of him. And then you can see his his uh, katana here uh, as a separate piece that slides into his hand. But uh, anyhow, so there we go with that one. Um, Geek, what do you what do you think we should go for next? I figured since we've seen it before, I might as well go with Death Note in the socks. I think it must be. So this is Yuke. It's a character from a famous anime of which was mentioned in an earlier. Uh, loot crate that we did. He's a Shinigami from the series, from that series. And uh, what a Shinigami is, it's a Japanese word for a reaper, basically, a grim reaper, so a death god. And in Death Note, they have these little journals, which are called Death Notes, and he drops one in which the main character, Light, picks up and begins killing uh, other people who he believes to be criminals and wrongdoers, and uh, he calls himself Kira, and the series goes from there. Yuke kind of stays alongside of Light the entire time and watches everything happen as a sort of entertainment for himself. <laughs> okay, all right, so there we go. If you guys haven't watched Death Note yet, uh, that could be one if you guys are interested in. Sounds like something that you might be interested in. And of course, we've got these kind of cool socks. I'm sure, Geek, you're gonna you're gonna be wearing these all the time, aren't you, I'm oh, sure. Yeah. It's a so. fan favorite, definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> okay, yeah, I remember you talking about this guy before, and I've, yeah. seen, his, I've seen his face. I've seen his face before, so I know you. I know you like him, so. So, Dead Man Wonderland is, uh, at a point in time, there was a giant earthquake in Tokyo, which took out three quarters of the city. And uh, it's based around, I'm assuming, this character. And uh, he was living, he didn't remember the incident, but he was a survivor. Okay. Uh, and he's marked by someone called the Red Man, I believe. And he's taken into this privately owned prison, which is called Dead Man Wonderland. It's a sort of amusement park where people fight to survive for the most part. And there are injections that are put into them through these little collars, like is seen around his neck here. And um, they have to get this sort of candy-like thing through these sort of trials and different challenges they've been given to get the candy and keep on living. They need it every three days. There's another section full of these people called the Dead Men who have an ability to control their blood in a way that they can make it into weapons, I believe. And they're kept separate from everyone else and constantly are tested on and are not allowed to do certain things because they're so powerful and everybody wants to know what's up with them. Um, we've got two left. Uh, we've got the little, of course, the little keychain or our phone charm type thing here. And didn't you think you knew what this was a little bit? Like, wasn't this a character or something like that? I know the character's name is uh, Yume, but I don't know much about where she comes from. Here on the, here on the uh, poster it says, like you said, Yume. So it says, let Yume's determination help propel you through any trial or tribulation that may spring up in your day. All right, guys. Well, I kind of glanced through the uh, the thing here on the back of the poster, and I actually do remember this. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if this is something that's on Netflix because it sounds very familiar. I think I've looked into it, but I don't think I've w I haven't watched it yet. I know that for sure. Um, but basically, uh, this guy right here on the front, his name is Asta. And uh, the world in which he lives has magic. 
and uh, he has very grandiose, uh, you know, dreams. He wants to become the Wizard King, which is actually kind of familiar because Naruto wants to become Hokage, who is the head honcho of, of the ninjas in his village. Uh, so this guy wants to be the head honcho wizard guy. The funny thing is, he can't use magic. Um, now, if we remember correctly, we were talking about this, and, and it, we think that he and one of his friends are uh, both orphans, and we're in an orphanage or something like that. And they both have the desire uh, to become the wizard king, the lead guy. Uh, the thing is, is his friend uh, has magic, and he's able to actually use it. Uh, what happens, though, is that uh, uh, Asta here, he, he actually comes across a grimoire. And the grimoire gives him the ability for anti-magic. So, uh, assuming anti-magic is the counterpart of magic, he should be able to stop other people's magic when they try to use it or something like that. I'm, I'm only guessing on that part, so... Uh, we would definitely have to either read the manga or uh, pick up maybe on the anime. Like I said, I think that might be on Netflix. Uh, I'm definitely going to be checking that out here pretty soon because uh, I do need to catch up on some of my anime. But, uh, you know, this is about his trials and tribulations, trying to get through and trying to earn his way up to being the Wizard King. All right, guys. Well, there we go. We've got the, the handful of uh, goodies, per se, that uh, came in this box. Now, this is, of course, a kind of a special edition because initially we were only going to do uh, three episodes. And this is actually the fifth episode. We got a couple extra boxes. Um, this one, actually, for me, is kind of my favorite because I really like this uh, this uh, black... Uh, black uh, yeah, thank you. Black clover. I just can't say it. But I, I kind of like this black clover, kind of this concept here. And, of course, I really do like the uh, Naruto stuff. So uh, and, and then, of course, I know Geek here does like the Death Note. Uh, things and she did seem pretty interested in this other one which I actually am interested in it as well so quite a few things that are pretty good especially for our interests and everything well I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up from here uh, this has been another episode from the loot crate anime series that we've got going on here on world of me my name is cougar my friend over here geek and uh, if you guys want to check this out uh, you can go down there in the description below and uh, there'll be a link for that as well as the links to all of our social media. And on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. There's also that little subscribe icon, one may be floating around over here. And if you don't see that one, go ahead down there and hit the subscribe button down below. Right next to that one, of course, there's going to be that little bell icon. You click on that, set it up, and it'll let you know when we have new videos here on World of Me and uh, possibly some more of these if we happen to get any more boxes uh, of the Loot Crate Anime Editions. All right, guys. Well, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.